everyone, Jose Tormos here, senior market strategist, and I've been trading for about nine years, going on 10 years come September, and what I wanna do is show you some hot trading opportunity right now in the market. So if you'll follow me right along here to these charts, what I wanna do here is add some value to this blog so you can keep checking back for some great opportunities. And ultimately what I'm doing here is I'm trading the pound Japanese yen towards missed targets in the market over a one hour time frame. Now missed targets are pivot points in the market that the market naturally gravitates to. So that's gonna be where the direction of this trade is, is geared from. We're gonna be going south or bearish on the pound Japanese yen. To further complement that, what I wanna do is I wanna show you the analysis on how to go about finding this technically so that you can gain some technical skills and see why this works. So I'm gonna show you the pound Japanese yen on four different time frames and show you how this trade and how these opportunities present themselves to us as traders and how we can capitalize on them and place them. So here is a monthly time frame for the pound Japanese yen. One thing that you'll notice is that this market has been in sideways movement, okay, over the, over the course of since 1993 to now. So we've got some major levels of resistance, major levels of support here. So with this big level of support, what I've identified is a very large pattern in the market called a king crown. And with that king crown, that gives me long-term projection to go bullish. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna buy the market right now. Okay, because what I've realized is over my nine year career period is that every summer the markets tend to move sideways and begin to consolidate in a range and we're in the month of May. So May, June, July, August, we're gonna start seeing some sideways movement here taking place. So as I zoom in to kind of show you what this is all about, here's where I have my levels of resistance and support at the moment for the summer months here as we begin to analyze this chart. And as you can see in sideways movement, this market, when it hits this line, it comes back down to the south. When it hits this line, it comes back up to the north. Now that we've reached resistance, I'm looking or anticipating for this market to come back down towards a support line. So that right there tells me that the overall direction short term for this trade is to go bearish in this range over the next couple of weeks, maybe the next couple of months. We'll see how this works out. But as we go ahead and want to find the reasons logically why that's going to happen. We're going to take this information and we're going to go to the next smallest time frame down. So from the monthly chart, we go ahead and open up our weekly time frame. And on the weekly time frame, what you see is I've highlighted the same level of resistance and support in these purple lines. And I've also highlighted arrows on where to look to sell, where to look to buy. So this market has hit a resistance area and has fallen, a support area and has climbed. Now we've hit a resistance area once again. And over the last three weeks, this market has been falling. So that's where I'm gonna focus my attention on is now that we've reached a level of resistance here and we're looking to fall or gravitate towards that support line, what other indicators, what other opportunities this market showing us as far as patterns on a smaller time frame that can allow us traders to take this trade? Because all signs are pointed to a longer term bullish move. But in the summer months, remember, that's why I'm focusing on this sideways movement because in the summer months, the markets tend to consolidate. So over the course of the next few weeks, next few months, we should see some range trading opportunities and the most highest likely position for this market to go at the moment is to go down towards this level of support. So I take this information from the weekly chart and I'm gonna open up a daily time frame. And so on the daily time frame, here's what I've done. Obviously there's more candles involved here, more opportunity for you to see a little bit of confusion if you're not knowing what to do. So what I've done is I've linked or I've used the same level of resistance and support as lines. And if I can press this chart, you can see it here in the market selling, market buying. And now that we're at resistance to sell once again, what I've done is I've utilized my A, B, Fibonacci tool to showcase a wave in this market. And what I'm anticipating this market to do is to wave down, wave up, which it has done, and then wave back down to the Fibonacci D extension right here in the direction of the bears at a price point of 140.401 is gonna be the next uh, area where this market might have a solid U-turn to the north for a new swing. And so in seeing that, that's on its way down to the support line. So on the daily time frame, what I'm seeing is this market's in a down AB swing. It's below a downtrend line in the sell zone. It's coming from a resistance level to sell and that's why when I bring in the equation of target trading, I wanna make sure these pivot points this market's gravitating towards is in the direction of my analysis. So if we kind of look over to this chart here, which is giving us the indicators, you can see that these little lines on your screen 
our targets each and every week, this market looks to gravitate and strike. Well, as you can see, this week's target was just hit bullish. That's why we've got this retracement here today. If I zoom in on this, you can see a little bit better. You can see this market climbed up today over the last three hours and fulfilled this week's target. Last week's target was hit. The week before that was also hit. Now, the ones that have not yet been hit, as you can see, is this one right here, which is four weeks ago, and then five weeks ago. These are two missed bearish targets for the market to continue falling and gravitate towards. So that aligns with our analysis here. This is a daily time frame pointing in the direction of the bears. So let me pull up a one hour time frame here. And as you can see, the same level of resistance in purple and support. And what I've done here is from the top of resistance, I've begun my Fibonacci analysis as the market's making lower lows and lower highs. I'm in not my first, second, third, but my fourth A, B, C to D Fibonacci swing. So here's that missed target that I was talking about four weeks ago. Here's this missed target five weeks ago, and it's in the direction this market's currently gravitating towards. If I want to further complement that, I'll go ahead and utilize a smart trend line to help me stay on top of my trading game. And that's not it right there. Give me a moment, folks. Let me zoom in, show you where I'm going to draw it from. There we go. And as you can see, by drawing a trend line, as long as my analysis is below my downtrend line, as long as the Fibonacci's are in the direction of my missed targets and this bearish movement that I've already anticipated, I'm in great shape. To further keep myself protected, I've also added a system on the screen. And that system is just to help me navigate entry into the market along the way so that I don't have to worry about super big exposure and very minimal uh, profit gain. I want to have minimal risk exposure and a lot of profit gain opportunities. So as you can see right now with uh, this bullish movement, the candles are above the system and the signal is green. So my next trading opportunity is for this to come back down below this computerized trend line, give me a red signal and continue joining forces with the bears who are dragging these prices down towards 142.95 and eventually to fulfill that other missed target at 138.53. So that's what we're looking at here at this particular screen is the trading opportunity in the direction of the bears. Now, as far as how much opportunity can this garner from here on out, we've got anywhere between 185 to 626 pips of opportunity. With a standard lot investment, that's upwards of $1,850 to upwards of $6,000 plus US in, uh, in gains from a $2,000 investment size uh, margin requirements. So as again, what we're saying is we're going to be looking to short the pound Japanese yen. It's at a sell high price point down to these missed targets. Given the price points that we're seeing on the screen here, that's where I'll be looking to get into these trades with equity management. And just remember to keep things easy to understand, easy to execute, and easy to obey. So keep checking back on these blocks for more information. Hope to see you guys at the top. This is Jose Tormos.